we're talking about reduction orders in Salesforce. We can use reduction orders to track any requests to reduce, to return, to deactivate, or to disable a customer's products or services. It's literally reducing an order. You can create multiple reduction orders for a single order, but you can't create a single reduction order for multiple orders. I'm just going to say that again because it's kind of confusing. You can create multiple reduction orders for one existing order, but you can't create one reduction order that you then use for multiple orders. After creating a reduction order, you need to indicate which products need to be reduced and the quantities that you need to reduce those products by. This will then reduce the original order.